This is Dell Latitude 3490. One of the mid-range laptop, one of the basic laptop from Dell. It comes with Core i3, 6 Gen, 4 gig RAM and 2.5 inch SATA hard drive instead of SSD, which one makes this laptop very slow. So today in this video, we're going to make an ultimate update for Dell Latitude 3490. As you can see, there are two types of SSD I have. One of them NVMe M.2, then M.2 SATA SSD, and 16 gig DDR4 RAM, 8 GB module, two of them. All right. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to switch off and open up the back cover to get access into the motherboard. Then we're gonna disconnect the battery and one by one, we'll upgrade the RAM. SSD both type M.2 SATA, M.2 NVMe. So all the screws from the back cover wouldn't come out because there are the safety locks. And once the back cover is removed, we have to disconnect the battery. That's the first thing before we touch into the main boat. And then, first of all, what are you going to start? We're going to start with M.2 NVMe SSD. Or if you'd like to install SATA, you can just replace this and that's what goes in here and this is the DDR4 RAM slots this one came with 4 gigs so we're gonna apply some more so this is the one 8 gig if you'd like to increase more you can do that and then let's go for M.2 NVMe this is the full length full size And then let's go for this. This 2.5 inch SATA hard drive, secure with four screws. And then we must have to remove the actual caddy from the hard drive. And we'll put this one back to the SSD. And before you do, you must have to disconnect the SATA power and data cable connector. You can put any amount, 1 gig, 2 gig, 512, 256, whatever. So check the alignment. Keep it side by side. Take out four screws, two on the right and two on the left. And afterwards, we must need to reinstall the windows because this is completely blank. Or if you want the same system, then you have to clone the actual hard drive into your brand new SSD. And you can have double advantage because there are two slots, as I said. You can either go for M.2 SATA or M.2 NVMe both. Once the four screw secured, then we're gonna put it back and reconnect the SATA cable connector. And finally, we're going to put four screws to secure the actual SATA SSD. And this is the one, 2.5 inch hard drive. 
now let's put back the actual battery connector into the place and finally we're gonna close it the back cover and tighten all the screws securely <laughs>